Hi, I'm Carolyn Booker, the mother of Cory Booker, who's running for President of the United States. And I'm in South Carolina this weekend uh, just to ensure that the voters here understand Cory from a family perspective, okay? Uh, there's a reason that he is so passionate about service because he comes from a family who has really viewed service as the rent we pay for our lives here on earth and has been working on many different causes. He has grandparents who my uh, dad was active in starting the union at the Ford Motor Company in Detroit. My mother has had a long history of over 50 years of service to the Urban League, even being the national president of the Urban League Guilds under Vernon Jordan and uh, uh, Young. I can't think of his first name right now, but, uh, uh, but she has worked in the Urban League for, for over 50 years and even in her 90s helped to form an Urban League along with Jackie Shopsire in Las Vegas. So, uh, you know, not age doesn't stand in the way of continuing a legacy of service in our family. Uh, his uh, father's uh, family is from North Carolina. They were funeral family funeral directors, and uh, he grew up and attended North Carolina Central. I attended Fisk University, schools that are known for not only their educational value, but for training young leaders to go out into the world. And uh, so this, this passion for community service, this passion to improve uh, the communities in which we live and the lifestyles that we have is a long-term commitment for the Booker family. And Corey comes by it naturally. He's been a family caregiver, so that explains some of his uh, concern for healthcare and for those who work in the healthcare field, taking care of uh, people in their homes. And so some of the policy statements he's put together comes from his own experience as well as the experience of others. We could talk about criminal justice, which is a problem that he saw in the Newark community of the number of prisoners returning from prison and coming back into the community that then had to start over and making a life for themselves and the work that he's done there. Uh, the housing issues he saw his own family go through when we were denied housing in New Jersey because a real estate agent wouldn't sell property to a black family in some of the communities. And so it, it doesn't surprise me that he started out as a tenant's right lawyer in Newark, uh, working with families who were having issues when property owners were taking the money out of their buildings and not putting anything back in the buildings to keep them operational for the people that live there, and then eventually walking away from them. So he knows firsthand some of the problems with which we're dealing with and therefore has made his life's work to be a servant leader. Uh, to not just lead the people, but to listen to the people and to roll up his sleeves and work beside them. So I'm very proud of Corey. I'm proud of what he has accomplished in Newark, what he has accomplished as a senator so far in his journey. And uh, if this is the next reach for him to uh, win being the people's candidate for the President of the United States, then I certainly support him in that effort. And I want people to know uh, from whence he comes and the passion that he has for the job and the energy that he has to get something done to change and make life better for all of us.